Hey folks, it's me again. It's March 2nd, about 5.30 in the afternoon. I'm on US 58, <clears throat> just up from the Green Cove Station between Green Cove and White Top Mountain. And I'm uh, <clears throat> sadly here documenting the litter epidemic in the area. <laughs> Speaking of which, <clears throat> I just pulled that up from the plastic beneath me. As I've said in some of my other videos, <clears throat> if you think the litter is really bad when you're driving through here in your car and you just kind of glance down at the roads and you see it it's much worse when you're on the ground i mean it's just hard to describe just in this little short stretch of roadway here how much i'm seeing there's a mountain dew bottle i'm gonna just pan in a little bit here okay Beer cans, bottles, and like I say, a lot of this is hidden beneath the leaves. You don't even see it. We've got another car coming. Yeah, here we go. Litter. <clears throat> it's so disheartening. I mean, I just, <laughs> it's mind-boggling. Like I've said in some other videos, uh, it's a problem. <laughs> it's a serious problem. Uh, amongst all this beautiful scenery here, let's pan around a little bit, show you. It's just more litter than you can imagine. I've been picking up litter recently. I uh, picked up several bags along the roadways here around Green Cove where I live. And uh, you'd be amazed at how quickly you can fill a 30 gallon um, trash bag. I mean, probably if I could get down to all this litter that's down this embankment here, um, I'd probably fill up a bag between where I'm standing and the next uh, 100 feet, maybe 200 feet tops. I'm just going to take you up the road a little bit and just show you. Um, it boggles the mind. Like I've talked about before, um, this area is part of the Mount Rogers National Recreation Area. It's within the George Washington Jefferson National Forest. And uh, it's just incredible how much litter there is. Let me just kind of look down through here. Again, when did our roadsides become litter baskets. When did this become acceptable? Oh yeah. And it's 90% drink bottles. Beer cans. Oh my gosh. It's all down in this ditch here. I don't know if it's showing up in the video or not. Beer bottles, soda pops, beer cans. Let's go across here for a second. This has worked really bad. Look at this. If this doesn't make you mad, 
I don't understand. I mean, it's just, it's beyond my comprehension why you would want to throw all this out. Who could just toss all this stuff randomly out? I mean, it's heavy through here. I mean, like I say, probably from where I'm standing now, I could pick up enough trash to fill up a 30-gallon garbage bag within about a 100 to 150 foot span. And that's not even digging deeply because a lot of the trash has apparently been here for so long it's covered up in uh, rain runoff and water runoff like this. You know, right here, this beer can here. There's an insurer bottle. McDonald's cup. <clears throat> anyway, I'm going to cut this short because it's a little brisk out here and I've got a little tick in my throat. So I probably need to uh, cut it short. And I got a car racing up through here as we speak. That's quite possibly one of your litter bugs right there. This area is frequented by tourists. But I have a feeling that a lot of this is not from tourists. It's from locals that don't appreciate just how fortunate they are to live somewhere so incredibly beautiful. I mean, just, it's unreal. I mean, it is just so thick through here. So oh, incredibly thick. At any rate, I hope that my videos are raising enough awareness and I'm gaining some traction. I have emailed and corresponded with folks from my uh, the Forest Service, um, the town of Damascus, Washington County, Virginia, which is where I'm at, just down the road from where the Grayson County line is. At any rate, um, as I do normally when I do these videos, there's another bottle just crunched beneath my feet. I mean, I don't even know what to say. It's so disheartening, so disappointing, so saddening. I can't think of enough adjectives to describe it. Um, how there's just so many careless, selfish individuals who don't care enough about our environment or others. Here's something here that appears to be part of an old swimming pool or something. I don't know. Who knows? A couple of pieces of random PVC plastic. Let me look at this. Oh my gosh, people. This is when I'm embarrassed, just embarrassed to be a descendant of the European settlers that even came here to this country. 
in the short 250 years that we've been a nation, we have absolutely destroyed and trashed so much of this country. Look at all this. I'm in a little, this is a little creek running down from the mountain. There's five or six pieces of trash right there, one more there, another one there. I don't know, there's a part of me that's just like, I, I don't even know why I care. I don't even know why I'm bothering to do this. I know I'm fighting a losing battle. I know that there's always going to be a certain amount of sorry ASS trash that's going to continue to do this. They're going to continue to throw the stuff out. And they're probably never going to stop. I guess I just hope somehow that things could change. Anyway, uh, I appreciate you looking, watching the video. Maybe, just maybe, this is going to make a difference. But let me go back to this. I did um, hear from a friend recently who's also a member of the Friends of Mount Rogers. And uh, he tells me that uh, Washington County, Virginia has taken notice, responded to my email probably saw some of my videos because I sent them links <laughs> and uh, anyway on the 13th of March which would be a week from this coming Saturday uh, they are volunteering or um, helping with uh, volunteers that want to get together and pick up litter um, they're going to provide trash bags and and that type of thing and, and uh, at any rate I uh, I'm encouraged by that and I did get some feed, feedback some positive feedback from the Forest Service again due to uh, COVID-19 protocols litter pickups are, uh, are not being done right now for the most part um, they can't take the prisoners out so it's going to be up to private individuals like us and groups of volunteers. But anyway, I would encourage you to uh, contact the Washington County Sheriff's Department. And uh, if you want to participate or organize groups to get out and do some litter pickup, they're, they're going to help out and uh, provide trash bags and pick up some of the the litter and things like that as well um, once it's gathered so anyway that's that's good news and uh, try not to be all gloom and doom here as I look down here and see two tires tossed down here uh, I mean uh, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna zoom in one more time and just kind of let you look just look down to the road there I mean, do you see all those different bits and pieces of trash? And like I say, tons of it are beneath the leaves where I just kicked. Um, <laughs> I don't know. Just, just beyond me. Don't even know what to say at this point. Truly sad. Truly, truly sad. Anyway, folks, I appreciate you watching, and if you want to contribute, if you want to get involved, if you care about the litter in our region, uh, here in southwest Virginia, again, I'm on US 58, right down from uh, White Top, uh, the turnoff where the uh, biking outfitters take the riders up to white top is just right up the road there i mean literally right up the road but i am blown away at the amount of litter out here right now oh my gosh it's so sickening and anyway 
you want to help, you want to get involved, um, contact me in my email, which is stanford41d at gmail.com. And uh, if you like this video and want to see others and want to get involved, um, feel free to uh, like and subscribe to my channel. So uh, anyway, folks, one more little snippet here. Look at this. Oh my goodness, this whole roadside up here is just slam full of litter. I could pick up umpteen bags just in this little stretch between here and my vehicle. Speaking of which, I'm going to, in this video, grab a pair of gloves and a bag and pick up a couple of bags of trash and see if I can make a small, and it will be a small dent in the tremendous amount of litter on US 58 here between Green Cove and White Top. Thanks for watching folks. Y'all have a good evening. Take care of yourselves.